Hi and welcome to this tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to take an existing Android app which you have made and convert it into a playbook compatible app. That way you can submit it to Blackberry's App World, which is a which is a Blackberry version of the app market, and then you, you can sell or you can give it away for free or show ads, whatever. So you can be on both markets. Okay. So a few assumptions. I assume you know how to make an Android app. I'm not gonna cover that. I'm just gonna cover how to convert an Android app into a playbook app. So here I have my app. It's a very simple app with uh, one button. Doesn't do much. Let's see. Uh, this is the Android emulator. This is my app. You click, shows a toast. And we are going to convert this into a playbook app. Okay, so a few things you need to do. Uh, there are a couple of ways you can go. You can go about this. There is an online converter. There are some command line tools, and there is a plugin for Eclipse, which is the one I'm most familiar with. Okay, so I'm I'm going to focus on the Eclipse plugin because that's the one I'm most familiar with you can also try the online tool online tool is really simple once if you know how to use the Eclipse plugin online tool should be okay because it's just a wizard basically just takes you through some steps so Eclipse plugin get the Eclipse plugin the documentation is pretty good so just read to that you need to have Android SDK installed and all that in Java and so on. Install the ADT plugin for Eclipse. This is with which is the Java the the Android plugin for Eclipse. And then you finally install the BlackBerry plugin. So just copy that address there. Go to your Eclipse. Go to Windows. Sorry. Go to Help. Install new software. And then you wanna go add here. So here I would type in like anything you want. So playbook, playbook, no. login. And here you would paste the address we just copied from the website. Now I already have it installed. That's why it's saying duplicate location. But you just click OK, and then you'd be presented with. Like a, a couple of items here, you would select all of them and then you just click next, next, agree to install. And after that, you need to restart Eclipse. And then you have the BlackBerry uh, plugin, playbook plugin installed. So after that, you need to set up a few things. So let's go back to our steps here. The keys you need to have in order to publish to. Blackberry Upworld, you need to have signing keys. So these sort of uh, make sure that only you can publish applications as you. Okay, so you need to register with a playbook uh, with a room. I mean to to get those keys. So you, you find the link here, and I'll, again I'll put it in the video description. Uh, request signing keys. Fill in your name, fill in the info. If you don't have a company, just enter your name again. That's what I did. Select your country, choose a pin, and then just submit. And then it takes up to two hours for them to send you the keys. And these keys are they send the, in the in your email. There are two different emails, and you get two files. Uh, let's see if I can find those files the ones which I received here we go you get these two files PBDT and RDK these come in two different emails so in Gmail this can be a little tricky since Gmail sort of has that threading thing where it hides the previous email so you might think you just received one but you probably received two it can take a while they say it takes two hours so you know you have to wait and then you're gonna get those keys and after you get the keys go back to Eclipse 
go to window preferences you see there's a blackberry option here go to blackberry tools sdk oops it's, uh, yep. by signer now I've already registered of course but for you you will you will have to select those two files the PBDT and the RDK you will select those and then you will choose to register and then it goes off connects to RIM and does a lot of complicated stuff for you and it generates the signing keys uh, after that if you're successful what you want to do is back up your keys because once you have used those two files they are now useless you cannot use them again ever so if you screw up somehow you would need to request to the to request new keys and you don't want to do that be for for a few reasons first it's annoying and also once you sign an app with one key then and you put it in the app world if you get new keys you, you can't update the old app so you have to create a new app so you you lose that continuity anyway just back it back them up pretty simple this is my backup right here my, I put it in Dropbox anyway now uh, what you want to do is you want to get the simulator simulator allows you to run uh, it's sort of a playbook environment on your computer a virtual playbook environment on your computer so go to the simulator you download this thing it's quite large uh, not that large 270 just download that after you download that what you get is a installation file you install that and during the installation process there's a, you choose a location where you want to install I think the, uh, depending on which type of uh, operating system you have it's different the default is different but anyway you get these files uh, what this is is a virtual machine it's a virtual machine file for VMware then you need to get VMware of course so what you need is a VMware player or if you have access to the full version of VMware VMware workstation or something like that you can use that as well which is what I have here but if you don't you can download VMware Player for Windows or VMware Fusion if you're on Mac. Go over to VMware. Unfortunately, you have to register, and it's one of those annoying things. You have to register, log in, and then you can download it for free. The VMware Player is free. So you get that. I'm just gonna start my VMware workstation over here. So VMware player would be running this virtual machine file which you just downloaded. Right, so you would open a virtual machine and then you would point point it to where the files got installed from that play playbook simulator you downloaded. So I know mine is in there and the file you're looking for is this VMX file and then you would open it now I already have it so let's not do that the Mac here forget that okay and I have the simulator here one thing you want to do is you want to go to the settings of this machine you just created so right click settings you want to go to the processor and here in number of cores per processor you want to set that to 2 otherwise it's very slow so it causes a lot of problems so just set it to 2 here ok so let's power on this will get the virtual machine started you can hide that give this a little while to start up so as you can see it is 
the same as a playbook just running virtually now okay so eventually you get this nice playbook looking thing you can click inside and then you can control the actual playbook using your mouse you have the browser here pretty nice anyway to get out you press control and out because otherwise your mouse is trapped inside you can get out now notice here we have developer mode is on it's on by default and here you have your IP address the IP address of the the playbook virtual device right so let me get out of that back to Eclipse Windows preferences Blackberry tools go to targets and here you want to add that virtual playbook to your targets that way Eclipse knows how to communicate with the virtual machine click add device name it's called playbook device IP now here is where you need this address 192.168.232.130 Password, I believe the default password is playbook. I'm not too sure about that, but we'll see. Also, we can also try auto detecting the IP if that works. I have never tried that. Uh, create a uh, tick this, create debug token and upload the device. Click OK. Yeah, 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 the device is already in developer mode by default. Determining device pin, creating debug token, and hopefully, yep, I think that was a success right there. Okay, so now Eclipse knows where to find this virtual device. Okay, so we have our Android project here. What we want to do is right click. Blackberry tools, add Blackberry nature to project. Simple as that. Now you can see there's this little Blackberry thing here on the project. Now to run it on the on the playbook, Blackberry tools. Oops, sorry, I mean run as Blackberry launch Android. Android launch. Now, obviously, there are some things which you can do in in Android which are not supported on on the BlackBerry. See, our application is launching now, and here is our app. Now, the simulator is quite poor uh, quality-wise. It's it's really flickery and the graphics look terrible but that's just a problem with the simulator it's not a, it doesn't happen on actual device uh, I was saying there are some things you can do on Android which obviously don't make sense on, on the playbook and there are some things which the playbook just doesn't support so for example launching the Android market it doesn't make sense if your app is on the playbook so you have to remove all that kind of things before you want to submit it to the app world also you can search around for what exactly is supported but for example native code is not supported uh, maps I believe is not supported and uh, what was that last thing I wanted to flash if you have a if you have an Android one of those uh, air Android apps then you, you can't just deploy it to through through this method what you want to do instead is output a playbook app directly from from air anyway let's see if this toasts work oh there you go free playbook so it works as usual and what this app what this bar here below does is it provides navigation because there are no hardware keys on the playbook so 
you can get the you get a back button here you see I click that you see what I mean the simulator is really poor in rendering no, I don't know what's happening right now anyway you can close the application so that that you have uploaded your app to the playbook and see the drones you're gonna want to test it if it's more complicated than this now next thing I guess you wanna do is you wanna package package your your app for for the app world well, what you need to do then is blackberry tools you can verify the apk it just checks if there's anything which is not supported in, in your app which is a cool feature if that passes then you go blackberry tools sign for app world this will sign your your app it will put it inside a bar file which is the it's almost like the playbook version of an apk file so your apk file will be inside the bar file but it doesn't really matter as long as these things succeed here you're good it creates a new folder this is a distribution folder here and there's a bar inside so just find that on your on your find that in your workspace distribution and the thing you're going to want to upload to the Apple is this bar file right here okay so the last thing you probably want to do if you actually want to publish to the blackberry upward you need to go to the vendor portal for blackberry upward the vendors are basically us the publishers of these apps click on get started here you're gonna fill in a lot of information it's one of those annoying ones you have to scroll down in order to agree do you want to sell products if you just wanna give out free apps or you know put advertising in your apps then you can click no next and then just a whole bunch of information here you have to fill in after that you're gonna get an email asking you to verify your ID so you have to actually send a copy of some sort of identification, driving license, passport and so on. And after that they manually review that and they are going to approve you. And then you can just log in over here and then you can start uploading your your bars, bar files, you take some screenshots. Yeah, and that's that's about it. Uh, a small tip when you're developing since the uh, simulator is still pretty poor you can use uh, you can use the android simulator so create an android virtual device create one maybe for honeycomb a tablet and then you can see and you can uh, work on the look in android and you can just check the functionality in the playbook simulator that way it's a little quicker to work with because the simulator as you saw is quite not quite ready for prime time on the playbook okay good luck and godspeed